Good morning, folks. It's a big day for the observers. It's the time you've all been waiting for. I'm just not sure which part of today's news is what you've been waiting for. Let's get going over at spaceweathernews.com and we find the last 24 hours on the Earth-facing disk of our star is dominated by the large northern coronal hole, extending trans-equatorially into the south. There was no eruptive activity and the sunspots decayed overnight, so the only eruption threat at hand is attached to the back of the coronal hole. The thin line extending back towards the limb is a plasma filament. It will need to be monitored for eruptive behavior. Solar wind remains very calm even after the shift in the phi angle. It would strain credulity for the intense stream from the coronal hole not to impact today and trigger more geomagnetic activity. Quickly looking at earthquakes, we find the largest of the last day was an aftershock to the high seismicity in this region just this month. The other top rumble was a 5.6 that struck southern Xinjiang, China, within about 200 kilometers of the yellow alert line there, which warned of magnitude 5.5 to 6.5. Quickly coming to Spain, where the earth spot dancing past the Strait of Gibraltar drove a major rainfall and flooding event early this week. It became deadly as a few people were swept away. This is not your usual winter weather over there. Now deep breath. Folks, dark matter, in addition to all the troubles it has had lately, now has two more. First, there is no signature of dark matter in the gamma background. Looking at the highest energies we can, many thought that would do it. But also, coming out around the same time, it turns out gravity needs to be rewritten as a brand new model is already performing slightly better than Einstein's, and it doesn't involve dark matter. Proponents of the new electric universe theories need to mind the direction of the revelations within the mainstream here if they wish to see opportunity. Up next, fantastic confirmation of the electromagnetic precursors to major earthquakes. These types of events are evident before many large quakes. The only part of this paper with which I take issue is the claim that no other signal preceded that quake, considering that a blot echo unquestionably struck the exact same fault segment the day before the bigger one occurred. Geez, I should really write a paper or something. Oh wait, there it is. Folks, this is the predictions, the earthquakes, the basic research into the factors that trigger them, statistical analysis proving that these are beyond statistically significant and actually dancing into the one in a million chance territory. For sharing and future reference, this is the breaking update on the homepage of QuakeWatch.net. And in addition to demonstrating what a high school AP statistics student could prove if they've covered binomial probabilities in class already, we look at forecasters around the world. That section will shock everyone. And we look to the future. There may be copy editing changes or spelling changes to that document to come, but the site checking and content inclusion are 100%. Go, go gadget info share and it makes sense right considering that the disaster prediction app comes out today we're kicking on apple this morning android before the sun goes down from dark matters demise to the proof that earthquakes are predictable and the release of the disaster prediction app it is a good day to be a suspicious observer it's 4 30 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone